Welcome to a lesson on congruent triangles. The goals of this video are to define congruent triangles, state ways to prove triangles are congruent, and also to identify congruent triangles. Two triangles are congruent if and only if corresponding angles and corresponding sides are congruent, as we see marked here. These two triangles are congruent because corresponding sides and angles are congruent. When we identify congruent triangles, it is important to know where the corresponding angles and sides are. In this case, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle MNO. And the order in which we list these vertices is important. Vertex A corresponds to vertex M, vertex B corresponds to vertex N, and vertex C corresponds to vertex O. So the order in which we list these triangles is important. When referring to corresponding parts of triangles, it is called corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent or, or for short, it's CPCTC. Now let's talk about the different ways to prove that two triangles are congruent. The first is the side, side, side postulate, often referred to SSS postulate. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So if we know those two sides are congruent, those two sides are congruent, and those two sides are congruent, we know that these two triangles are congruent. The next postulate is the side angle side postulate, or SAS postulate. This tells us that if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. If we know that this side is congruent to this side and this side is congruent to this side, in order to satisfy the side angle side postulate, the congruent angles must be the angles that are between or included between the two congruent sides. So the congruent angle would have to be here in order to satisfy the side angle side postulate. Now we're guaranteed that these two triangles are congruent. The next postulate is the angle side angle postulate or ASA postulate. This tells us that if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. And again, this order is important. So if angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle F is congruent to angle C, and then if side AC is congruent to side DF, these two triangles will be congruent. Notice how we have an angle, an included side, and an angle in both triangles. And the last postulate we'll look at is the angle-angle side postulate, or the AAS postulate. This tells us that if two angles and a not included side of a triangle are congruent to two sides and the corresponding not included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So if we know this angle is congruent to this angle, this angle is congruent to this angle, and let's say these two sides are congruent, we know these triangles will be congruent. And this is really just a variation of the angle side angle postulate because if we know that two angles of two triangles are congruent, since we know the sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees, then the third angle of the triangles would also have to be congruent. So looking at the right side of these two triangles, we have angle side angle and angle side angle. But again, we can just use angle angle side if we wish. Now we're going to take a look at several diagrams in the next video on determining if two triangles are congruent, but let's just get a feel of where we're headed. If we want to know if these two triangles are congruent, we want to see if we can satisfy one of the previous four postulates from the given information. So looking at this diagram here, notice we have two parallel segments that are also congruent. Well, if these two segments are parallel and they're cut by transversal EC and transversal BD, we know that alternate interior angles would be congruent. So angle E would be congruent to angle C, and angle D would be congruent to angle B, again, by alternate interior angles. So now if we take a look at what we have here, notice we have two angles that are congruent as well as an included side. 
So this satisfies the angle. So by the angle side angle postulate, we know that these two triangles are congruent. So by angle side angle, we know that triangle ABC is congruent to this triangle above. Remember when we list these congruent triangles, we must list the vertices in the corresponding order. So vertex A would correspond to vertex A in the upper triangle, but now vertex B would correspond to vertex D, and vertex C would correspond to vertex E. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADE. And it's important that we list these vertices in this order. I hope you found this video helpful.